Welcome to Fantech Tech Talks. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at a bathroom exhaust ventilation system that uses a fresh air appliance. It's been a go-to solution in Canada and is now making its mark in the US. Currently, we're in the technical center, the heart of Fantech System Air here in Lenexa. Let's get into the details. Here's how it works. While traditional bathroom exhaust systems expel indoor air outside, this innovative system integrates a fresh air appliance, aka an ERV or HRV. As the stale humid air from your bathroom is being exhausted outside, the fresh air appliance preconditions the incoming fresh air using energy from the expelled air. This ensures not only efficient ventilation, but also optimal energy utilization, making it an increasingly popular choice in colder regions like Canada. While this system has gained considerable traction there, its adoption is on the rise in the U.S. as well. Since this is becoming a more popular approach, it's imperative to shed light on the systems that control and manage it. Enter the EcoTouch IAQ and RTSW control systems. Over time, we've received a surge in inquiries over how these systems operate and enhance the system's overall efficiency. Today, we'll be addressing some of the most frequently asked questions about these control systems and clarifying their features and functions. Fresh air just got a whole lot easier. Let's get started. Our engineering team has already set up the RTSW and EcoTouch IAQ, seamlessly paired with the Hero Fresh Air Appliance. So without further ado, let's begin with our most commonly asked question, how to install the battery in the RTSW control. The timer comes with the CR2450 battery cell. It has been installed in the RTSW to allow for pairing. Let's show you how to do it now. When inserting the battery, you want to make sure that the metal pins on the GND side of the battery holder sit below the battery cell, and the metal pins on the VE side of the battery holder sit above the battery cell. The bottom end, VE side of the battery, must be inserted first to avoid bending and damaging the metal pins on the battery. These pins must contact the top of the battery cell. Let's delve deeper into some of the technical inquiries we often get. Joining me today is Kevin Brown from our technical support team. Hey Kevin, how you doing? Good, Aaron, how about you? Good, thanks for being here. I'm glad to be here. Awesome. Kevin Brown is no stranger to technical questions with nearly 10 years of experience with System Air and Fantech. He has a passion for finding solutions and we are so grateful he's on our team. Thanks, Aaron. I'm very excited to help everyone to figure out the ins and outs of this pairing as well as answer any of the more common questions we get in technical support. Awesome. Well, let's get started then. So Kevin, I understand a common question you encounter is, why isn't my RTSW synced with my EcoTouch? What should our customers and contractors be on the lookout for to guarantee that they're using a compatible controller with the RTSW? Sure. More often than not, the issue is people have the older version of the EcoTouch. The older version of the EcoTouch has a two-wire connection. It's going to connect to the EDF plus and minus terminals on the older fresh air appliances or it will connect to the W terminals on the units with the terminal strips. The issue is the older version of the EcoTouch does not have the wireless capability that the EcoTouch IAQ has, so unfortunately it would not be compatible with the RTSW. Okay, now we know what to look for. Okay, so next question. How do we get into the EcoTouch IAQ menu to pair up the RTSW? Okay. First thing you'll want to do is make sure that the EcoTouch IAQ is installed in its permanent location. Okay. You will also need to verify that you do have it wired here as well. Then on the EcoTouch IAQ control, press the options button at the bottom of the screen. Once there, press next during the initial five second countdown sequence to enter the user options screen. Now press next until you enter the pairing screen. The pairing screen shows the word PT0 at the bottom, where zero is the current number of paired timers. Currently, in our case, it says PT3 because we actually have three RTSWs paired with it. So, while on this screen, you will need to press and hold the activation button for five to 10 seconds on the RTSW that you wish to pair with this EcoTouch IAQ wall control you do not have to press any buttons on the EcoTouch IEQ to pair the timer. Once all timers have been paired, leave the options menu by pressing next until the five second countdown screen is reached, then simply let the timer expire. Finally, test the timer in its final location before permanently installing it on the wall to ensure it is within the operational range of the EcoTouch IAQ. Okay, so that's how to pair a single timer and multiple timers to the EcoTouch IAQ. With that being said, 
How many timers can be paired with the EcoTouch IAQ? You can pair up to eight RTSWs with one EcoTouch IAQ. Okay. And how will we know the RTSW has been paired? Well, if pairing is a success, this is what you'll see. The wireless icon will flash on the EcoTouch IAQ wall control screen and the count of paired timers will increase by one on the display. Also, the LEDs on the timer being paired will flash in sequence from 20 to 40 and then 60 minutes and then finally all three will flash together at once to indicate the pairing is successful. To see if it is 100% successful, you will need to push the button on the RTSW to see if it activates the fresh air appliance. You will want to go through all three times ensuring that the LED works accordingly. Now that we know the timer has been paired, can you give us a brief overview of how the timer works? Sure, it is a very easy control to understand and use. Press the button once to operate the fresh air appliance at high speed for 20 minutes. Press the button twice for 40 minutes of high speed ventilation. Press the button three times for up to 60 minutes. Pressing the button four times will turn the timer off. Once the timer returns to zero, the appliance returns to its normal operating speed. So another thing, typically we won't be standing next to the fresh air appliance. So how would we know for sure say when the appliance is in the attic, basement, or mechanical room, that the timer has activated the appliance. Sure. You should be able to go to one of the grills that are connected to the fresh air unit, and you will either hear the airflow coming through, or you should be able to feel it coming through. Another thing that you can do, if it's kind of hard to feel or whatever, you can get a piece of toilet paper, piece of tissue paper, put it up there towards those grills and you should see it move. Now in our situation here, we have our streamers here, which is telling us right now it's in low. And if I hit it once here, it will go into high speed and we will see it take off. All right, last question, Kevin. How far away from the EcoTouch IAQ can the RTSW be located? Okay, this is gonna have a range of 50 feet. Okay. Kevin, thanks so much for being here today. My pleasure. We appreciate your valuable insights. Oh, you bet. That wraps up today's look into an RTSW and EcoTouch IAQ control system with a fresh air appliance. Thanks for watching this episode of Fantech Tech Talks. Until next time, breathe easy.